Welcome to Debt Relief Made Simpler. Today, let's explore how your home can be the key to solving debt issues. We'll dive into whether Canada's premier debt relief program impacts your mortgage, then delve into other viable options for leveraging your home. First, let's address the concern. How does Canada's top debt relief program affect your mortgage? We'll dissect this possibility before exploring alternative pathways using your home's equity. If you like the information received in this video, press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let's begin. A great feature of the program is you keep all your assets, including your home. If you are already in a consumer proposal, it will not cause you to forfeit a home. Most mortgages are amortized for 25 years, and every five years the interest rates are negotiated with the lenders. On the rare occasion when in the program the lender might want half or full point more, it is not advised to change your already existing mortgage to another lender. Your credit score and being in the program can make it very challenging to negotiate with a new mortgage company. There is another possible option to eliminate your unsecured debt by owning a home. The catch is you need to have equity in your home to work with. People can go to their mortgage lenders to refinance a new loan, incorporating all their debt that is plaguing them using the equity from the home. This should only be considered if interest rates are not sky high like currently. Next, some homeowners obtain a home equity line of credit, using their home as collateral. It has much less interest with a line of credit than personal loans and credit cards. The advantage is keeping your credit cards paid off and trying not to overextend again. The disadvantage is if a homeowner gets into trouble not paying their home equity line of credit, their home can be foreclosed upon. Finally, there is a chip reverse mortgage. It allows homeowners to convert a portion of the equity in their home into tax-free cash without having to sell the property or make regular mortgage payments. To qualify for a chip reverse mortgage, you must be a homeowner in Canada aged 55 or older. The amount you can borrow is based on factors such as your age, the location, and type of your home, and its current appraised value. Unlike a traditional mortgage, where you make regular payments to the lender, a chip reverse mortgage does not require monthly payments. Instead, the interest on the loan is added to the principal and repaid when the loan becomes due. With a chip reverse mortgage, you retain ownership of your home. You can continue to live in the property for as long as you wish, provided you maintain the property and stay current on property taxes, home insurance, and any other applicable fees. The loan, including accrued interest, must be repaid when the last homeowner on the title moves out of the home, sells the property, or passes away. Typically, the repayment is funded by selling the home, using proceeds from the sale to settle the reverse mortgage debt. If you found this helpful, press the like button and subscribe to our channel.